hello friends welcome back so in today's video we are going to see how to migrate uh, your unencrypted data uh, to new encrypted uh, EBS volumes okay so let's take a scenario okay uh, suppose in SOX audit uh, or uh, your internal compliance team found that on your servers you have unencrypted unencrypted EBS volume okay and they made uh, audit points that uh, on the servers you have many unencrypted uh, volumes and data is not secure so and so okay so that is the point and if you want to convert that unencrypted volume to encrypted EBS volumes so to how to perform that activity okay so today we are going to see that okay so today we are going to see in the windows instance in windows server how we can do that okay you might see multiple videos about how to do in on the linux server okay but today we are going to see on the windows server it's pretty simple guys okay so let's start uh, before the start if you are new to this channel please do like and subscribe uh, it's keep me motivated uh, to make such uh, daily hike uh, video daily troubleshooting video for the cloud operations okay so let's start okay so yeah you can see here on the screen I have my demo server okay it is running and let's see how many volumes I have on the left hand side go to EBS volume you can see here I have two volumes volume C and volume D okay and let's see the encryption status okay so both volumes are not encrypted okay and as for the compliance my all data will be in D drive okay and I want to, to encrypt that volume okay so how to encrypt that simple go ahead and create the same volume same size same AZ okay so let's create this even volume type is GP2 same AZ okay uh, yeah everything looks same okay here you can see this option encryption okay use the default key if you have the key then use that otherwise use the default key okay and if you are maintaining the KMS on your organization or on your test lab you can use that okay so I'm using the default one for this demo and let's create the volume okay so volume creation in process Okay, so we can see the volume is created okay so let's give the volume name you can give on server side also okay let's attach this volume now click select the volume click on attach volume select the instance okay let's click on attach let's keep this as it is and click on attach okay now the volume is going to attach let's go to okay it's attached okay so let's go to the server okay so this is my server let's go to the disk management okay so you can see here this is the additional disk okay so let's make this disk online make it refresh okay so the disk is online now let's initialize the disk do refresh again okay so the disk is initialized now let's give the volume name okay okay let's do the formatting okay Okay, right click and new simple volume click on next next assign the drive letter by default E you can select whatever you want okay and here is the option format this volume okay so let's format this volume click format click on next finish okay so drive is formatted and it is now attached okay now you can see the volume E okay now let's see on our console again let's see what's the status okay guys so you can see here three volumes 
this is the non encrypted volume this is encrypted volumes okay we use uh, kms key okay now we want to transfer a data okay from the to the new volume okay so let's go back to the server go to folder option let's see what's there in d in d we have a folder which is the size 25.5 in e e is the empty okay so let's do one thing okay let's open the command prompt okay so open the command prompt okay now let's do one thing okay you my uh, you guys might uh, move all your data from one drive to another drive okay using multiple options some of them you have used a powershell script some of them you have used some another tool and everything but here i am going to show you the very simple methods which we are using since many years that is a robocopy okay so let's try that so let me create one folder in e drive call backup or something data okay so data folder okay now let's go back to d drive copy this path type robocopy space give the seed uh, original source location path then go to destination give this path okay so this is our command it's very easy command guys no need to do any other thing okay just uh, give source and destination and hit enter okay guys so you can see i have run this robocopy and now let's see on the e volume okay so you can see here on the e i got this two folder in the d these two folders okay so the data copy is like that okay so if you are also trying this thing uh, if you found anything on your compliance okay uh, uh, then this is the very easiest method for windows server okay to copy uh, your data from unencrypted volume to encrypted volume okay and if you want to see uh, the same thing on uh, linux server just let me know uh, let me know in the comment section okay i will try to make a video on for the linux also okay so that's it for today okay we'll see you on next week bye bye